So you know you need to buy some vibrating screens, but what exactly are they and how do they work? In this video, I'll give you all the information you need to make an informed decision. Stick around. Hi there, I'm Andrew Kotlar, and depending on what vibrating screen you choose can greatly impact your operation. So the question is, what's a vibrating screen? And what are my options? Here at WS Tyler, we know all the ins and outs of what it takes to properly select and use vibrating screens. And we want to use our 150 years of experience to help you through that process. So in this video, we'll go over what a vibrating screen is, what sizes they come in, what types of weaves there are, and the specs you'll need to order them. Vibrating screens are wire mesh screens that are created to fit inside a screening machine for separation. Vibrating screens actually have quite a few names, and you could call them screen sections, uh, hook screen sections, or just wire mesh screens or woven wire screens. But for this video, we'll stick with the tried and true vibrating screen. So vibrating screens are used to separate particles anywhere from generally uh, six mesh down to 325 mesh. These machines can feature one or multiple screen decks, which separate particles at a different sizes during the run. And the machine vibrates and shakes to separate large amounts of dry, free-flowing material down through one or more screen decks. So these screen decks are typically made of wire mesh that has the proper hook system and opening size, which optimizes separation. This makes it durable enough to withstand the, the tonnage of your material load, but flexible enough to help the particles separate without blinding. And vibrating screens are typically made from stainless steel, and these hooks are normally made from galvanized or stainless steel, but can be made of other alloys under special request. These wire cloth screens can be made of up to 12 feet long and 5 feet wide. It's pretty common to have screen lengths in 5 foot increments. This allows the screen to be repaired or replaced in smaller sections if parts get damaged. This can save you money in the long run as well as make it a, a bit more manageable in, in terms of size. When it comes to wire mesh sections, you have three different choices in terms of mesh type. You got square mesh, ton cap, and tie rod. Square mesh is typically the standard mesh pattern that's used, and square mesh is literally what it sounds like. The openings are square. It's the typical over-under pattern that you would expect when talking about any kind of weaving. But there are some variations in these types of weaves. Uh, for instance, you can have two overs and, and one under. Uh, stuff like that. Ton cap, or the tonnage capacity screen, is designed to be more durable than square mesh. The wires in a ton cap weave are traditionally heavier and thicker than a square mesh weave. This allows for increased production load on the screen. Tie rod weave, sometimes called the non-blinding screen, was created to help with one of the most common issues when it comes to wire mesh, blinding. Blinding is when particles get stuck in the openings of the wire mesh and prevent the material from passing through. So tie rod offers a greater open area than both square mesh and ton cap. There are multiple shoot wires placed close together on each side of a much larger opening in the mesh. This allows the mesh to have more flexibility while helping the particles seek the openings, which increases the throughput. When it comes to ordering woven wire mesh, things can sometimes get a little technical. So generally, to get the process going, you'll need to specify the opening of your mesh, the wire diameter, and the alloy. If screens have slotted openings, like uh, for the ton caps or the tie rods, uh, the direction of the slot should be specified in relation to the hook strips. You should also include the size and make of your machine, the exact finish width and length of the section measured from outside to outside of the hooks. And where two or more sections are used to make up the length, uh, advise if lap is desired. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out a contact us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn even more about Woven Wire Mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click that second link and you'll be that expert in no time. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name's Andrew Kodlar, and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.